Pixel Words, a game that's to my heart and my others mainly because of its design and amazing community. It was perfect, at least for me. You see, just because you really enjoyed the game doesn't mean that everybody will. That's why the devs always try their way to keep players happy and make money at the same time, at least they should, right? That's where many players, and I myself, ask following question. What went wrong? Where did Cuckoo Cory make the biggest mistake and was there a way to prevent it? That's where you'll find out the answer. But before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps my channel grow. Enjoy the video! We gotta talk about failed updates, because there are some of them. The list opens pets update released on May 2020. It brought us pets, which we could take care of. Sounds cool, right? Well, only in theory, because it was a disappointment for many players. Pets first time was extremely expensive. It took forever to obtain any token prizes, and they required insane amount of time. That all wouldn't be so bad only if Jake didn't advertise it so much which led to the disappointment of many players, especially because they thought it would be more of From Animals update, which was planned in the past and was later abandoned. And here we can see our first friend, a cow! Hello cow, how are you doing? How are you doing? Originally we planned to have cows and different farm animals in the game, and yet this button really does nothing at this moment. Same thing happened to other updates such as mining update. High expectations for mining update were crushed. When devs inform us about it being split in two parts, this particular reason lowered the hype for mining update part 2. In my opinion, I wouldn't mind waiting 2 months per update. Instead of splitting it in two parts, few days before main release. Next was card update which could be a great implementation to the game. Sadly, it was another disappointment for our community, mainly because it was lacking reason to even play it. Let's be honest, why would you want to spend your money and time to receive nothing more but cards? Yeah, that's the problem with card updates. Lack of free prizes and main target for players to grind discourage them to check out new feature. Adding a wearable price only available from playing cards would increase hype for cards update. Last update and the last big feature at the same time I will be mentioning is Jetrace. 1.6.1 update released on November 18, 2020 is a boom. It brought us a completely new feature that changed a lot of terms of world building. Now you could fly endlessly without worrying about fuel running out like in jetpack. Sadly, update after a few months was forgotten as people realized jump costs for jets were too high and they quickly pushed them away from trying new experience, which leads us to where we are now, lowering cost prices and implementing some kind of paint jobs for jets that make update way cooler. Can you imagine the possibility to paint your own jet? Alright, let me ask you a following question. Do you see the pattern? Great updates with huge potential and plenty of ways to expand them now abandoned. All of that because of two simple mistakes. Poorly made balancing decisions and lack of course for players to pursue. Overwhelming gem prices and no real motivation to check out updates really killed them. Now you know a real reason for the question. What went wrong? Well, at least for updates, because there are way more mistakes Kukukuri made during past few years. But that for another video. Stay tuned for What Went Wrong Part 2. Meanwhile, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Peace out!